Hey, what's up guys? The Strong Boys 19 here. This is going to be an overview of my whole CD collection. This is part one. Now, I did remember a few years ago that I did get some requests to do an overview of my CD collection, I believe. And uh, the last time I did it was five years ago. So over the past five years, I thought I would show you guys my new... Uh, uh, expansion or um, uh, what you call it uh, new direction of my CD collection so yeah most of my CDs are uh, are here it's still not complete yet guys I mean there's still a couple of more CDs I need to sort out so I w thought I would do shelves one two and three and uh, there will be a vinyl collection really soon. I'll let you guys know about that when I'll be free to do it. In a way, hopefully the camera can focus perfectly. Uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass, so I do apologize if that happens. So, yeah, there we go. Let's start with the A's. Uh, ACDC, high voltage. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap. Let there be rock. Power Rage, If You Want Blood You've Got It, classic live album, and my personal favourite, Highway to Hell, Back in Black, and Black Ice. And we've got Anthrax, Among the Living, I've got Ailstorm's Discography, Captain Morgan's Revenge, Leviathan EP, Signed, Black Sails of Midnight, and my favourite, Back Through Time. And their um, latest album, Sunset on the Golden Age, Aretha Franklin, Lady Soul, The Allman Brothers Band at Fillmore East, and Brothers and Sisters, Alice in Chains, Black Gives Way to Blue, Beastie Boys with License to Ill, and Paul's Boutique. Blackstone Cherry, I still need to buy uh, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. I've got the self-titled Folklore and Superstition and Magic Mountain. Black Sabbath, now I do have the debut on uh, remastered CD, same as these, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Well, you know what that looks like, so yeah. Moving on, we've got Paranoid. Master of Reality Deluxe Edition, Volume 4, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, Sabotage, Heaven and Hell, and 13, Biffy Clyro Only Revolutions, and Opposites, two CDs, The Beach Boys Pet Sounds, Bruce Springsteen with Born to Run and Born in the USA. Now, before I continue on, I have a few Beatles albums. Sgt. Pepper, of course. Help. Abbey Road. Rubber Soul. The White Album and Revolver. I have Beatles for sale, but that's not the same um, version as these. So, I still need to buy... The rest of the Beatles discography, I mainly got the experimental era because that's the era that I do love more from the Beatles than the pop era. Anyway, moving on. Bob Dylan. Yeah, freewheeling. Bob Dylan. The times they are a-changing. Bringing it all back home. Sorry, I had to burp. Uh, Highway 61 revisited. Blonde on Blonde. John Wesley Harding, Nashville Skyline, Blood on the Tracks, The Basement Tapes with the Band, Desire, Street Legal, Oh Mercy, World Gone Wrong, Time Out of Mind, Love and Theft, Tempest, and his recent album, Shadows in the Night. Bob Dylan, Greatest Hits. That uh, I never came across this type of Greatest Hits CD before. But yeah. Uh, the Essential Bob Dylan, two CDs. Bootleg Series, Volume 4, Live 1966, Royal Albert Hall Concert. 
and uh, the raw version of the basement tapes, two CDs, I have the complete box set of that as well, which is also incredible. Brothers Groove, Play the Game, Signed. Behemoth, The Satanist. Blind Faith, self-titled, yes, with the uncensored cover. Blaze Bailey, 10th Dimension, also signed, but well, that's um, signed in the booklet. Bullet from my Valentine, The Poison. Scream, Aim, Fire. I do hope that their new album, Venom, will be like as good as the first two albums. Fever is not that bad. And I have that right here, the tour edition with the DVD. Blink-182, Greatest Hits. Don't even get me started about this. This wasn't mine, but it was given to me. This was way before I started CD collecting, so it wasn't mine at first, okay? The band, self-titled, I still need to buy music from The Big Pink, which is a brilliant album. The band, The Last Waltz, Clash London Calling, Carcass, Surgical Steel Limited Edition with bonus track, Control Denied, The Fragile Art of Existence, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Deja Vu, Claim the Throne, Triumph and Beyond, and Forged in Flame. Cold Chamber, self-titled special edition, and Chamber Music. Chimera, self-titled, and Resurrection. I've only got one Cream album, Disarelli Gears. Some Can with Monster Movie, Tago Mago, and um, this one I really don't want to mispronounce. Uh, Cradle of Filth Midian, I know that their new album just came out a few days ago. Death, The Sound of Perseverance, Deluxe Edition. I think this Deluxe Edition looks quite a bit bland packaging-wise. Uh, it does have the Painkiller cover, but it's not shown at the back for some weird reason. And uh, the bonus DVD is pretty cool, Live at Codbus 1998. But uh, the packaging isn't really that great. I think I need to buy uh, a different... Um, edition of that album. Anyway, The Doors self-titled, Strange Days, and the 40th anniversary of LA Woman, two CDs as well. Dark Throne, A Blaze in the Northern Sky. Deftones, Back to School Mini Maggot EP. Deftones, uh, Adrenaline, Around the Fur, and Diamond Eyes. Few Disturbed with The Sickness, 10,000 Fists and Indestructible, Dream Theater, Images and Words, Awake, and Metropolis Part 2, Scenes from the Memory, Death Angel, The Dream Calls for Blood, the CD and DVD Digibook. Uh, here we go, Death Grips, The Money Store, and... This so-called 40th anniversary edition of Deep Purple's Machine Head. I mean, just just look at this. This is all you get. Yes, it includes the CD and the lyrics, which are inside. But uh, this is more of like a more like a, a vinyl look than a proper CD look. Extremely disappointed. It's just you know not that great. So this so-called edition is plain awful, just crap. The 25th anniversary looks so much better. I need to buy that. David Bowie, Hunky Dory. Some Elton John, Honky Chateau. And Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. Eminem, the Slim Shady LP and the Marshall Mathers LP too. Elvis Presley, self-titled. Emperor in the Nightside Eclipse, 20th Anniversary Edition. Eric Clapton, August and Journeyman. Fleetwood Mac, Rumours. Tusk. Boston Box Set. Original Album Series, which has five different albums. And I've also got the um, uh, Complete Blue Horizon Sessions Box Set, 1967-1969. And I've got uh, I've got a copy of 
then play on on CD as well, which was uh, made for me. So yeah, uh, Fury with their first EP and uh, Burn the Earth. And the full CD, The Lightning Dream, the proper album. Uh, Five Finger Death Punch, The Way of the Fist. Frank Zappa, The Mothers of Invention, We're Only In It For The Money. Hot Rats. And Bongo Fury with Captain Beefheart and The Mothers of Invention. Fear Factory, The Manufacture. Obsolete and Digimortal and The Hate Files. Compilation. I'm really looking forward to their new album this August. Foo Fighters, Echoes, Silence, Patience and Grace. Fortress, EP. Gorillas. this isn't really mine, but it is my favourite Gorillas album. So, yeah. And uh, Grand Megas, Triumph and Power Limited. Digipack. Now, Shelf 3... Got Green Day, Dookie, and uh, Insomniac, uh, Nimrod, American Idiot, 21st Century Breakdown, Gojira, L'Enfant Sauvage, Humble Pie, Performance Rockin' the Fillmore, In Flames, Luna Strain with the Subterranean EP, the Jester Race with the Black Ash Inheritance EP as well. And Horacle. Iron Maiden, Edward the Great, Seventh Son of a Seventh Son. I do have um, other Iron Maiden albums, but some of them are my brothers. So, yeah. Yes, I do have Power Slave. <laughs> yeah. Jimi Hendrix Experience, Are You Experienced? Axis Boulder's Love. Electric Ladyland and the Band of Gypsies. Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison and the uh, the Man in Black and the Definitive Collection Greatest Hits. Judas Priest, Sad Wings of Destiny, British Steel, 30th Anniversary and Painkiller and the Chosen Few Greatest Hits. John Denver, The Ultimate Collection. Joni Mitchell, Blue, and Caught and Spark. Killswitch Engage, Disarm the Descent Special Edition. Yes, I do have a few Kerrang CDs. That was way, way back when I was into Kerrang at the time. So, yeah. Korn self titled debut. Life is Peachy, Follow the Leader, Issues, Untouchables, Take a Look in the Mirror, See You on the Other Side, Untitled, Corn 3, Remember Who You Are, and The Paradigm Shift, Special Edition, Live and Rare, All Mixed Up EP, and The Collected Greatest Hits, and The Greatest Hits Volume 1. Kings of Leon, yes, I do like Kings of Leon, actually. Only by the Night and uh, Mechanical Bull. Creator, Phantom Antichrist, Led Zeppelin 2, 4, and Physical Graffiti. And uh, this one isn't really mine, but I thought I would show you guys this. Anyways, uh, Mothership, 2 CDs, Greatest Hits. Lamb of God, New American Gospel. I hope their new album is going to be great. Ashes of the Wake, Sacrament, Wrath, and Resolution. If I can get the CD back in the thing, there we go. It really is a pain in the ass at times. Leonard Skinner, God and Guns. Meatloaf, Bad Out of Hell, and Bad Out of Hell 2, uh, Back Into Hell, yeah, and Hell in a Handbasket, Miles Davis, Kind of Blue, and this gorgeous edition, 40th anniversary of Bitches Brew. Anyway, almost done.
for this part. Uh, Megadeth Peace Cells, but who's buying? Uh, Rust in Peace, I still need to try and find the original version of Rust in Peace. And Motorhead Bomber. So that is part one of my CD collection. I know this is uh, more than 50 minutes long, so no wonder that the videos of this are going to be split into a couple of parts. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time for part two, when I'll be continuing my CD collection in the future. Peace.